Hi, I'm Kara, life coach, wife, and mom to four incredible and unique children. It wasn't all that long ago that my son received a diagnosis that had my world come crashing down. I lacked the ability to see past the circumstances, which felt impossible, and the dreams I once had for my life and family felt destroyed. Fast forward past many years of surviving and not at all thriving, and you'll see a mom who trusts that she can handle anything that comes her way and has access to the power and confidence that once felt so lacking. I created the Special Needs Mom podcast to create connection and community with moms who find themselves feeling trapped and with no one who really understands. My intention is to spark the flare of possibility in your own life and rekindle your ability to dream. This isn't a podcast about your special needs child. This is a podcast about you. If you are a mom who feels anxious, alone, or stuck, then you are in the right place. Welcome. Hello and welcome to the Special Needs Mom Podcast. So this week, this week I thought I would be back with a full episode. I really did. And I'm back with a mini episode, which is really more of a quick check-in and preview of what is to come. Before we get to that, I'll just give you a quick little update on the behind the scenes of the real life of me over here on the Special Needs Mom podcast. A couple weeks ago, we had our first emergency at school. Now, it's the kind of call that I've been ready for for years. And I'm not going to go into the depths and the details of the actual incident, just because I feel like, you know, it's the details that don't matter as much as like the experience that I had of, oh my gosh, this is scary. So I went into tunnel vision mode to do what I needed to do. And thankfully, all is well, with the exception of what I'll tell you in a second. And I think it's interesting that that space of that, I guess maybe it's like soldier in war, maybe not war, that feels a little bit aggressive, but soldier that needs to activate that space that I feel most able and strong. Now, this is just, you know, happens to be where I land. Many of you won't fall there and that's not a problem. It's the effects afterwards that really are difficult for me. So in our situation, it's the referrals, it's the visits, it's the multiple new specialists that are added to the team. And that caught up with me. And I think because I'm so comfortable in soldier mode that it doesn't occur to me until kind of looking back that holding everything together is not always the best way to go. So it's like my default is to hold together, to keep moving, to kind of push through. And it's not always what I would choose if I step back and really kind of reflect on all of my priorities and goals. And, you know, obviously just what's important to me. And so, you know, I mentioned earlier, everything's okay, except, and it's the except we don't know. (laughs) It's the not knowing. It's the, you know, we don't know exactly what's happening or what led to this or some, you know, underlying conditions that are new. And that might just be a space we have to live in. And I guess I wanted to highlight that because I know so many of you live there too. I think of all of you who experience or your children experience seizures and just not knowing when that next one will come or not knowing what your full diagnosis is. And I know that is such a hard space for me to be in. And I know it's hard for you all too. So my focus has continued to be on giving myself what I need. And this does not look perfect over here, as I'm sure you all know. And what I'm so thankful for is that I have people in my life that help me create the space to figure it out. Or it might be better said, that they create a space for me to experience not having it figured out. It's distinctly different, actually. So one of the impacts is that my margin went to things that were essential. And so this podcast is where it's at. I actually was going to hold it all together like I normally do. And my editor gave me a kind but firm nudge that I needed to let go of producing a full week's episode and not push it. And I'm thankful that I was able to hear her 
also would have probably made her like really mad if I didn't mad in a good way because it's reasonable, (laughs) but that, you know, I needed to let it go. So I decided to come on, do a quick check-in and also let you know what's to come. So I'm excited to share what's coming next because I have been working on it and I've been in study and creation mode. And I'll tell you, it's one of my favorite things to be in the thought process of developing episodes for you. And when I'm learning, I'm constantly thinking about how this applies to our community and to those of you who I get the privilege of working with. And the episodes I've been working on center around loneliness. And what's interesting is then I was producing or creating this episode on loneliness and what emerged is another episode on grief. And I shouldn't say another, but like an additional episode beyond loneliness that will focus more on grief. They're like peanut butter and jelly. They don't often exist alone and they're so interconnected. And I'm very excited to dive deep in this for you. I've been working on the ideas for a long time. Okay, beyond that, I took all my post-its off the wall. I generally have post-its on my wall of the next three months of what's happening in the podcast, and I just took them all off the wall. (laughs) I had to rework everything. And so don't you worry, I have them on my desk. Like They didn't go away, but they're going to be reworked. And so it's a great time for me to actually get feedback from you on what you all want to hear about, perhaps even maybe a guest or two that you're like, hey, I want to hear from this person. And I would love to know what you are all yearning for in terms of an episode or a conversation or topic, or even just, hey, Carrie, this is what I'm experiencing in my own life. That actually is, you don't have to figure out a whole episode concept. You have to just let me know where you're at and what you need. And I have this tool that's relatively new on the podcast that enables you to text the show. So it's literally just, you know, like you press play on your podcast player. It's literally just as easy as going to the show, finding in the show notes, it says text the show. So it's pretty direct. And you can send a message. So it literally comes right to me and I get to read it. I don't get to respond. I want you to know I don't get to go back and forth like like I would do in text. You have to email me for that. But it makes it very accessible for you to just drop a quick thought, quick comment, quick request, quick check in, anything you want to say. I want you to know how deeply encouraging it is to me when I get to hear from you. So consider that I love talking to you. I love it so much. And probably what I love more is hearing from you. So please consider that you are vital. Your voice is vital to the show. And I really want to hear from you. So go ahead and venture over to that text note that is anonymous unless you include your name. So you can say something anonymously and you'll be protected by the tool that this is. All right. So thankfully, I can say I will see you on the next episode.